Hey everybody, happy Friday. Haven't gone live in a while, but I uh, thought I would jump on here and talk to you about using videos in your marketing. And there's a couple of reasons I wanted to chat with you guys about this. So what's interesting is that I've had it come up a lot in terms of talking to clients and friends and family. And basically everyone I'm talking to right now is asking me questions about like, hey man, how do you do a Facebook live video? Should I do Facebook live? Should I do YouTube? How do I use videos in my marketing? How do I set up a YouTube channel? What equipment do I use? How do you find time for it? How do you stop being so nervous on the internets? And all kinds of other juicy questions like that. So I thought I would just go ahead and like jump on a live video and do this because you know what? I'm commuting anyways. So really, why not? Why not? It's Friday. Everyone's out driving around. It's rush hour. So we got lots of time to talk about this. So if you are in business for yourself and you're not leveraging video marketing, I'm going to hit you up with the five reasons that you should be doing that. Okay. So uh, video is an extremely effective marketing tool for a number of reasons. The first one is that video helps people remember you. So as opposed to just reading some like blurb on your website or I don't know, seeing your static picture or something like that, being able to see someone on video, it just, it's like reading faces or you know how like kids or when you were a kid, you would see faces in like bits of wood and like cars and stuff like that. We're trained to respond to faces and we're trained to respond to like moving faces. So um, our brains just remember people like when we see them talking like this at a red light, moving my hands around and stuff like that, more than like text or a picture or whatever, whatever. So it helps, I'm at a red light, that's why I'm looking at the camera. So it helps you be memor memor uh, more memorable as opposed to forgotten, which is a huge part of the battle uh, as far as like standing up from your competition and all those types of things. Hey Vance, I'm at a red light. That's just why I'm looking at the camera. Nice to see ya. Hit me with the like button. Okay, so video helps you be more memorable, which is half the battle when you are doing any kind of marketing because as you may know, it's a pretty noisy marketplace out there on the internet. So by doing a video and being able to be more memorable, that's like half the battle right there, right? So number one, it's more memorable. Number two, it helps people trust you because 99% of our communication is nonverbal. So what that means is people will look at like this video right now that I'm doing and they'll look at how I'm waving my hands around and the words I use and my facial expression. And based on like a super animalistic instinctual level, they will make a decision about whether they can trust me or not right because of like my vibe or whatever so this is an opportunity to build trust with your audience just by being a beautiful imperfect human being like we are like how sometimes I use improper grammar and sometimes I wave my arms around too much and whatever whatever it just shows that I'm a person you can trust me right so it helps to build trust also video on your website increases increases the amount of time people will actually spend on your website which is pretty amazing because you have like three seconds to grab someone's interest and in three seconds they decide whether they want to be on your website or not but if there's a video they'll stay longer and again that's a really powerful thing because you want people to stay longer and you want them to read all about the awesome things that you do and consider giving you their money so absolutely something that you want to do makes people stay on your website longer also on social media it increases the likelihood that someone is going to share your video as opposed to having like a graphic or text or or just a picture or whatever right so you want all of these things and it also increases the odds that people will buy from you now I'm going to tell you a story about the impact of video in my life and you're probably not even gonna believe me it's that amazing so I was for a long period of time very 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 consistent about doing my videos if you go to my YouTube channel Laurel Ann Stark you'll see that I've got videos going back to like 2006 literally so uh, in being this consistent I was putting on a video every single week and there was tons of ways for people to get an idea of what it would be like to work with me, right? Building that trust. And I literally had a person named Joe from Chicago call me after watching a ton of my videos on LinkedIn and he hired me on the spot. That is the power of video. And he's like, you just seem like the kind of girl who can get it done. And I was like, you know what, Joe? I am. And I was, and we worked together for a long period of time. So it's seriously that powerful. So how do you even like start this, right? So a lot of people are like, oh, I gotta go out and I gotta buy like a fancy camera and get like wicked lighting and all that other kind of stuff. That my friend is bullshit. You do not need any of those things. I am using a iPhone six plus right now. It's a little dirty the screen has been cracked in the past. So it's not by any stretch of the imagination, like the most high end equipment that you could have. Um, but you don't need it. Like these iPhones that we have are like amazing technology. I just put it on mirror mode. I've got a like little clip in thing on my, on my, t on my TV, on my car dashboard. 
and that's what I'm using, right? So that's all you really need. You need an internet connection to get it up onto the internet, whether it's Facebook that you're looking at or whether it is um, you want to get it on YouTube or whatever the case is. You can upload directly, like this video right now, you can upload it directly to YouTube from here if you're not doing like a Facebook Live or something like that. So you don't need like a ton of equipment. What you need is more than anything, dedication and consistency. So it's more about like the mental thing and the time thing than it is about your equipment levels. Cause I've had like fancy equipment and stuff and it doesn't really make that big of a difference as far as I'm concerned. Not if you're a small business, micro business, you don't need to pretend you're like Bill Gates, you know, like it's important to be relatable as well. So don't worry about fancy equipment. Um, I used to have like a big background and a banner and all this other kind of stuff. You don't need that either. You just need, what you basically need is a commitment to showing up on a regular basis and doing these videos. And you also need to talk about interesting shit that your customers care about, right? You need to answer questions that they have. You need to deliver value, inform, entertain, inspire, any of those things. But you need to give people a reason to actually watch you. So in this video, I'm giving you guys like the benefit of my experience and actual like proven um, knowledge that I have based on what works and what doesn't work, right? So that's why you'd want to watch this and share it and all that kind of stuff. So you don't need major equipment. What you do need to do is like take a look at your own schedule and figure out when is a really, really good time for you to do some videos. So for a while there, I was doing Tuesdays because I consistently had to commute on Tuesdays and I had pretty good ideas on Tuesdays. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do Tuesday live on the drive. And that worked for a while and then I got bored of it so I stopped doing it. But that was like based on my assessment of my schedule and what would work for me and all that kind of stuff. So I was consistent every single week on Tuesday in my gym clothes, driving home, talking to you guys on Facebook, right? So that worked for me in my schedule. But I took some time and I thought about it and I was like, when would work for me? Now prior to that, when I was doing marketing tips once a week and I was filming them at my in-home studio, I used to do them the last Friday of the month in the afternoon. Because typically I was tired, a little more dumb than usual, and uh, mostly no, I couldn't get a hold of my clients, no one wanted to talk to me, so it was a really, really good time to dedicate to doing my own marketing. So I booked that time off, and I just showed up consistently and I did it, whether I felt like it or not. And that's, that's a huge, huge part of it, is like, commitment is doing the thing that you know you said you would do long after the feeling has passed, right? So making that decision is a huge part of the battle, is just like consistently showing up. Now, I will share with you a little bit of a hack though. So when I was doing the one minute tips, which you'll see mostly on my YouTube channel, what you will see is that they dropped like once a week. Now, was I filming every week? Hell no, I was not. Cause I'm a girl, you know, and I went to my hair, I wanted to make sure that my hair looked good and all that kind of stuff. And that kind of thing takes time. And also I needed to get into the mindset to do it. So what I would do is film between four and six videos all at once. Cause that was part of my workflow. Cause I like to work smart, not hard. I like to work effectively and not just like be dragging my butt wasting time and like working all the time for no reason so I wanted to be really really effective about it so four to six videos at once is what I would film and then I would send it to my editing guy and then he would send them back to me with captions and then I had the ability to go ahead and um, schedule them on my YouTube channel to come out once a week so it looked like I was doing it once a week but I wasn't actually doing it once a week it's just that you guys thought that because that's when they were coming out so in this way I was able to take care of anywhere between a month and six weeks worth of videos in one afternoon how awesome is that right so making good use of the time now in terms of the topics and things like that if you think about what the questions that your customers ask you and you think about you know the the stuff you find yourself talking about all the time like I'm doing this video right now because I had like five people in the last week asking me about this, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna like leverage these questions into something that is basically an online asset that will perform for me for like years. Like I still get video views on videos I did like three years ago, right? So this is also working smart, not hard, is taking the topics that you're already getting asked about, the things you're already saying, and that's what you should talk about. Because if your current customers are asking you, then your prospective customers are gonna ask you, right? So this is a great way to get into your customer's head and figure out what they care about and actually meet those needs, right? So when I was filming those videos and when I'm filming this video now, um, generally speaking, I have a little post-it note and I have like between three and six points that I wanna cover depending on how long I'm talking. I don't have a big script that I'm memorizing because honestly it's so boring and no one wants to watch you just like read, right? And I get that it's like, it can be nerve wracking to, to like, uh, go on on film and stuff like that. It's something that takes like a little bit of time to get used to 
but it's better to just have a couple uh, major points that you want to touch on and be natural otherwise and just kind of like let it riff um, and let it flow naturally as opposed to reading so having those post-it notes definitely I want to make sure that I, I know what I'm gonna talk about before I get on camera because otherwise it's like really quite uh, humiliating otherwise so definitely recommend that um, and yeah just get clear on your topics or the questions you want to answer three to six jot notes per each video depending on how long you want to go for and then you decide if you want to go live if you're comfortable going live on Facebook like I I'm pretty comfortable with it now but like I said I've been doing videos since 2006 other people they want the chance to be able to screw up and I will tell you I don't know if any of you folks actually watch this but I did have a situation where this lady like almost like she jumped out in front of my car as I was doing a live on the drive and like it was it was horrifying I yelled at her it, I she scared the bejesus out of me and like it wasn't my prettiest moment right so I deleted that video and it was an unfortunate moment and I've had to think twice about this whole live on the drive thing that being said I still feel pretty comfortable about doing it live so that works for me and then what I'm able to do is take this Facebook video now and uh, basically go online and just search for how to download Facebook videos and then you can download it and upload this to YouTube so this is also me working smart not hard and something that you should think about as well is like basically creating a workflow or a system for how you're going to pardon me continue to create these assets and leverage them so that way they're actually contributing towards the well-being of your business and generating leads for you etc so the best way to do that is to make sure that your video gets repurposed as much as possible so so far for those folks just joining thank you so much for watching we are live on the drive on Friday and it is sunny here in beautiful Victoria and I'm super freaking stoked to talk to you folks about videos. So I talked about the benefits so far of using video in your business. I talked about um, what to do in terms of equipment. I talked about how to like what topics to cover in terms of what you should be talking about and how to like get clear on topics. I talked about how to actually talk about those things like whether you're gonna be memorizing or just kind of riffing off post-it notes or whatever the case is now I want to talk to you about search engine optimization okay and also like repurposing your videos for marketing purposes so we've if you've been watching up to this point and if you haven't just go back and watch from the beginning but now you know how to do your videos which is cool but how do we get them to like work for you in terms of generating business for you so again you want to repurpose them as much as humanly possible so if you have a Facebook live video that you're doing download it and then re-upload it to your YouTube and then send out an email newsletter to your list and if you don't have a list that you're building I really recommend that you do that um, that's a topic for another video but building an email list is absolutely one of the smartest things you can do for marketing it's like also one of the cheapest ways to market to people but send your video out to your list and be like hey I just recorded this video this is the topic so for me I'd be like hey I just recorded a video talking to you about how to uh, create a YouTube channel, how to search engine optimize your videos, how to start using video marketing in your business. If you are interested in that, click this button, come check it out. And then, you know, it gets exposure to all the people on my email list. Then I take a screenshot, I post that bad boy on Instagram, I post it on Pinterest because those are both visual marketing platforms. And then I throw it in my social media scheduling tool. So it's going to go out to Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, my Facebook page, etc. So it goes out to all those platforms, right? So I'm getting like the most bang for my buck in terms of getting that video out there. So now it's out there, cool. Now what? People know who I am. They've maybe heard a tip. They know I have awesome hair. So what? So what? So the thing is, is that you wanna have a call to action at the end of every video uh, in both the written component of it as well as when you're talking. So a call to action is what you want people to do. So generally speaking, anything to do with um, creating your own media assets a big rule of thumb to know is da, 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 da. <laughs> a big rule of thumb is to basically treat your audience as if they have the intelligence of a fifth grader and I'm not trying to be insulting or demeaning but you just don't want to assume anything you want to explain things as clearly as possible even newspapers uh, have their writing um, done at the level of a fifth grade reading level and it's because they don't want to, they want to make sure that they're being very very clear and communicating clearly so what you want to do is in your videos is you want to ask people to do something right and this is how you convert them from some rando who doesn't know who you are to someone who's like a qualified prospect or someone who like at least would consider working with you in the future see right now we have a jaywalking Jill and uh, yeah that could have thrown me for a loop but I'm going the speed limit good thing too so anyways 
Um, repurposing those videos, definitely want to do that and then have a call to action. So for me, I'm going to tell this is my call to action right now. If you are looking for more tips on how to market your business, please go to my website at laurelandstark.com and go to the gifts page and you will see all kinds of free stuff that I offer to help entrepreneurs skip the suck and rise into the business of their dreams. Boom. So now you know exactly what I want you to do, right? So I want you to do that in your videos too. And you tell people like, come join my email list, um, come join my program, call me for a free consultation, like whatever you want people to do to go from being someone who's passively watching your video to someone who is like actually going to be a lot closer to like giving you money, right? Another thing you could do as a call to action is, hey, if you got value out of this video, share it with your friends. If you have a question you want me to answer, leave a comment. If you are watching this video, let me know that you can hear me by clicking the like button. These are all examples of calls to action, which just basically takes people from being a passive viewer of your video to someone who's a little bit more engaged with your business, a little bit closer to becoming a paying customer. And that's the whole point of marketing, right? So call to action, super important. You wanna have those in your videos every single time. Another one, especially if you're doing a YouTube channel, is to ask people to subscribe. That means that they'll actually get notified every single time you put up a new video. So yeah, you wanna to stay top of mind with people and videos are awesome for doing that. So let's talk about search engine optimization. So big long word, what does it mean? Well, search engine optimization is the process of optimizing an asset like a video or a blog post or even an image to increase the odds that it shows up on page one of Google. Now, why would you wanna be on page one of Google? Well, because people who are searching for what you sell are typing questions into Google. Like for example, they would be typing in something like, how do I use video in my marketing? Which is no coincidence, no coincidence whatsoever the title of this particular video, right? So by using the, by answering the questions that people are asking you, by using words that you know people are typing into Google as your video headline, that increases the odds these videos will start to show up on Google and then you get exposure to all kinds of people who are your prospective customers, right? So the more that you know your customers, you know what questions they have, what concerns them, what they're typing into Google, the better your odds are of showing up here. And also consistency is key. So I talked about repurposing these videos to all kinds of other places like your email newsletter and like your social media and all that kind of jazz and that's all really great but you also want to think about putting them on your website and titling the website page where the video lives with the same title again search engine optimized with the terms that people are typing into google so now your video is not only for example in this case it's not only a facebook live it's not only a newsletter it's not only a addition to your youtube account now it's a blog baby and blogs and blog posts are amazing for increasing your exposure on the search engines, positioning you as a thought leader, and providing lots of information for your prospective clients to decide whether or not you're a good fit and if you provide value for them. So these are all the things that your videos can do for you. Pretty amazing stuff, I think, in terms of like the fact that it's free as long as you have a phone and Wi-Fi or a good data plan. And it doesn't really take that much time if you're smart about it and you just block off the time to both film and then distribute your videos accordingly. So here's the call to action time here, folks. If you are watching this video, please hit the like button. This helps me get this video out to other small business owners who might have the same questions that you have about how to go ahead and market your business using video. If you have any questions for me or comments, please leave them in the comments section. I'm happy to answer. Of course, as soon as I finish driving, I will do that. And if you are looking for more resources on how to be effective marketing your business or running your small business, please go to laurelandstark.com and I have a button called gifts. We got a ton of free stuff. You can get a copy of my book. I have free training courses. I have all kinds of free love for self-employed people because I think you people are superheroes. And lastly, if you found value in this video, please go ahead and share it with your network. I would super appreciate that. And last but not least, I hope you have yourself a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Happy Friday. Thank you so much for watching. I've reached my destination, so I'm going to bid you adieu and wish you a wonderful weekend. See you next time. Bye-bye.